Hey guys, welcome to another cool PS test tutorial. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a Philly D or an SXE Phil um, style avatar. So the first thing you need is a picture. Um, this one works well. I just found this one off the internet. This one is not a picture of me. I'm going to be going a little fast in this tutorial because I want to make this under 10 minutes. But you guys should take your time and um, you know work through this because we're going to be doing some vector. So um, let's get started with the tutorial. First thing you want to do is create a new layer and select the pen tool, which is this. Then zoom in by hitting Control plus. Zoom in really nice and close. Okay. Now you just want to select the hair part of the image that you have, like so. You guys should, again, take your time with this because you want it to look nice and not sloppy. It's much easier to do on spiky hair because it's not, you know, it's just straight lines. That's why I'm going a little fast here. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is um, when you're doing this, and let's say you see a curve like this, you want to cl click on it and then drag like so but if you when after you've dragged and you click here you get that funny curve so what you want to do is go back by control alt z and hold alt and then click on that point then you'll get a straight line again okay i'm just gonna do this for the whole hair and then get back to you guys okay um now after you've filled out the whole path you want to right click on um, with your pen tool fill path and select black and select OK now you right click again and then delete path you can make the background visible and see what it looks like so that's the hair portion um, then which one you will, can rename this to hair if you want then you can create a new layer and outline the frame of the glasses with using your pen tool like so and again I'm going quite fast because I want to make this under 10 minutes okay um, after you've done that I want to right click fill path black okay now see how it looks like a uh, sunglasses what you want to do is cut out the frame so first delete the path make this invisible but still have that layer selected the glasses layer let me actually name that glass. Have the glass layer selected, make it invisible, and then just select the frame of the glasses. Wow. I'm sorry, this looks terrible. Then right click, make selection. Okay. Make this visible again and then press delete control D then make this invisible use the pen tool and cut out the frame of the other the other side right click selection okay delete now that looks good okay then what you want to do is control D add a new layer um, name it to eyes and what you want to do is outline the eyes portion of your character like so and then right click uh, stroke path pencils okay then delete then do the bottom half stroke path pencil okay then delete path do the same thing for the other eye and then
Okay. And delete the path. Now you want to create another layer. Name it iris and select the ellipse tool from here, right here. And hold down shift and create a circle about right there. Um, right click and select fill path black is okay duplicate that layer hold control uh, so select the uh, rectangular marquee tool or whatever and um, select control and put it to the other eye as well now go to, go to the original iris oh, let me just right click delete that um, and grab the eraser tool and delete the parts that are not within the outline of the eye like so okay now that should look good um, um, then what you want to do is make another layer and call it ref and move the iris use the marquee tool again create a circle around the reflections and right click fill path white okay now select the pen tool right click delete path I know it looks kinda awkward right now but um okay now we got the face portion done now what we need to do is just add the eyebrows so just simply outline the eyebrows like so I'm just doing this very quickly. Okay, right click, fill path, black, okay, and right click, delete path. Now I'll see how that looks like. Okay, that looks good. You want to double click on the background select OK um, whatever your background is doesn't matter just double click on it again and select gradient overlay um, then hit reverse double click on it again on the black part make it a lighter color like this D7, 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 D7 is good um, select OK add another layer use a text tool and then you can write whatever you want like cool PS tuts um, that's cool control T and then just swirl it around a little and then okay and then there you have it now, if you want to make this into a, into an icon size, just select all the layers. So hit Control, no, select the bottom layer, and on the top layer, hit Shift. Holding Shift, click on the little, that layer, um, and then select all of it. So Control C, File, New. Okay, uh, make it about a hundred by one hundred. Then Control V. Ah, oh, my bad. Um, on this one, just drag it out. Go here, move all the files into here. All the layers, I mean. Then press Control T. And have this lock um, clicked to make sure that it maintains this ratio and yeah check and you can use whatever font you want or whatever and um, this is how it will look like that's how you basically do the um, the effect for 
the SXE fill logo. Well, the SXE fill style logo. Um, I did this a little fast to make it under 10 minutes. I'm sorry, guys, but you can you know what to do, and that's all that really matters. You don't need me to show you how to do every single step. Um, that's it for this video. You can request whatever tutorial you want me to do next. PM me. Go in the comments below. Rate this video, whatever you think it deserves. I'm not going to say rate it five stars. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks guys and yeah, bye. <laughs>